Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Hawk. In this video, today I'm going to show you uh, how to practice uh, with SOLIDWORKS and we will, uh, we will design uh, this binocular just for fun. This is not accurate dimensions, just to, uh, to practice the SOLIDWORKS tools. So let's start. So first of all, we are going to create a new part and from top plane, we will sketch. So first of all, we take a center line. And we will take another center line. And we will give the angle between them is 60 degree. then we will take a circle and create a circle here the dimension of the circle is 60 millimeter diameter and take another circle here which will be 33 degree sorry 38 millimeter in diameter okay and the distance between the center forty five oh sorry this is not sixty this is fifty okay and here another circle the diameter will be 10 and later okay. another circle and the diameter will be 18 and from this point to this point it will be 14 millimeter okay and then I am taking again circle command and from this circle I am taking another circle and the dimension will be the same as this like 18 okay and I will take line command and I will take this line from this circle to that circle and then I will make this as a tangent line of the circle tangent okay and again the circle and this line I will make a tangent relationship these entities this line and the reference line will be the line. okay okay then I will train these lines this one this one this one and this one okay After doing that, I will take this one, three point R. I will take the first point at the this larger circle and second point, second circle and third point on this. Okay, this skip and then give a relation tangent relation between this arc and this circle also the circle and this arc give a tangential relation and later okay. 
I'm going to keep the radius is 76 okay and the same I will draw another three point arc on here like this okay and again I will add to some relationship tangent relationship this one also and oh sorry and this one tangential relationship make tangent and then I will give some dimension the radius will be 38 enter so our basic drawing is almost done now we will extrude it so click ok from feature click extrude boss from selected contours I will select only this smaller circle and from here select mid plane and this will be 57 millimeter okay click here so again we need to extrude another parts so just click on this plus select sketch one click extrude boss and select the contours you want to extrude so I want to extrude this portion this portion and from here mid plane and this will be 50 okay click ok the so same as before we are going to extrude again but this time I will mm, to this hole direction I will store it in this direction this should be 76 76 but uh, we need the uh, different diameter here and at the end so click draft and enter 6 degree but we want it outward so click here so 76 6 degree draft outward click ok same as before stage 1 extrude and do you see this this circle this one yes now we are going to extrude that direction but will be 50 degree sorry 50 millimeter no need to draft just 50 degree click ok then for this larger larger surface click sketch take a circle Put the dimension 60. 
this and then we are going to cut extrude inside of it but this will be only 6 Same in this face, big sketch, take another circle, ok we need to find the center with smart dimension I am going to put the dimension is 32. same as before oh not not boss extrude extrude cut and this should be also 6 mm tip so almost done and if we just mirror this part we are going to get the whole part so from mirror click mirror and we are going to mirror this about right plane not feature we are going to mirror the whole body so click on the bodies just click here select the whole body here is the preview you can see it click ok so this is our you know binocular just for fun and just for practice I think it will help you to practice some tools of SOLIDWORKS here. So if you want to add some material on this, just select all, click here and maybe I am going to add this material. So part 1, I mean the whole part I am going to add this okay and for some maybe more information i'm going to add this two face as a glass material maybe this glass okay yeah. so here's our binocular you can you can render it as you want so i think this will help you to practice some tools of SolidWorks. Thanks for being with TechHawk.